Hello everyone, welcome back to a video on the Wind Chaser map. Today we will be officially starting the new roleplay farming series. I purchased an abandoned 100 acre farm here in the Midwest USA. I spent just over 2.5 million dollars at auction. Before we go take a look at it, take a look at all of the farmland we will be farming on. We are currently here at Midwest Machinery. We need a farm truck that's reliable but will be a great workhorse here for the farm. And it looks like they do have quite a lot of used trucks out of uh, on here so I think we'll take a look at them and we do have a budget of $18,000 and just by looking at it a few of these are a bit over but let's see the uh, truck lineup here we have a 1996 OBS dually uh, with the uh, 7.3 looks like this has a price of $11,000 that's pretty good uh, looks like we have a 2004 Ford F350 this one is uh, looks to be $25,000 a bit pricey especially for this truck uh, but it does have the uh, 6 0 engine. This looks to be a 2011 Ford F350. The price tag on this $23,000. Wow, this is a bit pricey. And I think this is more because it also has a lift kit and wheels on it. And this looks to be, what is this? This is a 2003 Chevy. Uh, this is a Duramax. And this is $17,000. Wow, this is right in our budget. And I actually think the Dually would be perfect here for us. So I think I'm going to go off for maybe 15.5, uh, 16 and C if they were taken. And if so, I will do the paperwork and catch you guys back out here. The deal is done and the O3 is ours. Now it does have just over 83,000 original miles and he said it's been completely stock and it was actually owned by a different farmer that used it kind of as a grocery getter which is pretty neat. We lucked out. We got a pretty good steal on the truck as well. 15.5 uh, he took the offer. Really not much negotiations which was nice. Although some of the other trucks would be a great farm truck. This is perfect and the dually will be great. So like I did touch upon we bought a 180 acre a farm that was abandoned hasn't been used in five years uh, but five years ago uh, five six years ago now they did uh, kind of upgrade the farm and make get some a uh, newer tractor so I don't think everything's really old but uh, I do, uh, will probably expect maybe a lot of flat tires and uh, just the equipment might not even crank over and get turned on I'm really excited to be starting this new farming series here on the channel. I've been getting quite a lot of requests over the last uh, few months and I finally picked out the map and all the equipment. It did take some time. Really did not want to rush this series but I do want to do some time lapses and just a lot of cool things. Maybe some of you guys uh, can come in game but I definitely want to live stream more of this as well. Uh, farming is uh, great to live stream but we have arrived here at the farm 100 acres. We'll actually bring up the iPad there and take a look at it but wow. It doesn't seem to be in that bad of a condition from what I was expecting. But this farmhouse here uh, definitely needs to be probably renovated. Wow, look at that. Completely overgrown. Uh, just hasn't been taken care of here. So let's kind of continue up here. Uh, like I did touch upon five years ago, they did get some new renovations. Looks like we have a few new shops here. And wow, that silo doesn't look to be uh, too old. Imagine if there's actually grain in that silo. That would be a pretty cool thing as well. But I don't think the grain would be any useful here. So we'll just get parked up here. And I think first, why don't we... Uh, take a look at the iPad. Here we are taking a look at the map. In this green here is all of the land. We own 100 acres. We do own, uh, you guys can see all over here, we own quite a bit of fields, 34, 35, uh, which are uh, kind of the biggest ones, but we also do own some small ones here, kind of all right around the farm, which is great. And I definitely want to expand the farm it even more. Alright, so I do have a list of the equipment that came here with a property. I'm not sure if it's here. I'm not sure exactly what is uh, going to be able to even turn on here. But I have a big uh, handful of keys. So let's uh, see if we can get these garage doors open up. I'm not sure if we can. It's going up, and here we go. Finally got it up, and there seems to be a few pieces of equipment in here. Wow. Uh, so I think let's go first check out the uh, tractor. I'm not sure what brand the Cedar is. It looks to be, let's see, it's kind of hard to read. Uh, but you guys can see it looks like a pretty decent Cedar. This looks to be a Deer, the 8100. Wow, this was a pretty popular tractor, and this does have the front loader attachment. So maybe uh, the uh, front loader's here on the farm. But wow, pretty good condition. The tires are flat, though hasn't been uh, running here in uh, almost five years. So let's hop here on the inside, uh, see? And awesome, we're on the inside here. I'm not sure if it will crank on, but really quickly, let's give it a try.
and it turned on and oh there it goes it turns right off and one last time and there we go guys we got turned on here let's see can we get it in gear oh yeah we can uh, so this tr uh, tractor is good now we won't be doing any farming today over the next few days I will be doing oil changes regular maintenance and I definitely want to get all of these ready to go here but that's a uh, great uh, this looks to be a very nice uh, pretty uh, good condition tractor over here, it looks to be the 1977 Kenworth W900. Wow, uh, this is a pretty old truck. Looks to be pretty decent paint. And this looks to be, what is this exactly? So this is a Load King uh, trailer. Wow, this looks nice. A little uh, dent here and there on the side, but so far so good. And I did notice something over here. What is this? This looks to be a small Freightliner, the FL-112. Uh, wow, this thing looks awesome. does have a license plate, and it looks like this uh, is a 1999 model. So that's it here for this shed. It's kind of empty. Uh, uh, maybe the uh, previous farmers took all their tools and anything that they didn't want to leave behind. Now that we do have one more garage here at the property, which is right here. Uh, let's see if we can get this door opened up. And there we go. It took three, four tries to get it lifted up. It, it's a kind of a manual door, but we got a combine. And that means we could uh, have a great harvest. This looks to be the John Deere 9560 STS. Oh, wow, this thing looks great. Over here, uh, we do actually have a few pieces of equipment as well. Let's see what this looks to be. A John Deere cultivator. I can't really see the model, but wow, that looks great. And this is the John Deere 7710. Wow, I actually am a big fan of these tractors being uh, just a two-wheel drive. But let's hop here on the inside to do have the key and let's get the right key and see if it fires up and there it goes fires right up here for us here looks like everything works and wow that is awesome but that's kind of nice uh, that even though these have sat for quite a long time they turn right on and over here looks like we have a case 7250 it kind of looks to be a base really no weights in the front nothing really on this wow and then we do have a, a kind of auger wagon there let's hop on the inside and see what will happen and look at that guys, it fired right up here on us. The first tractor to fire up, which was awesome. We don't want it to run for too long. All we need oil changes, do have to do a full maintenance on them before we could really put them to work. But that's it here for this. And it looks like we do have a silo here, which is awesome, but a pretty decent farm. Uh, for $2.5 million, we got some pretty good starter equipment. And there looks to be a few barns back here as well. So there, I think was a cattle uh, over here. I do want to get into cows and sheeps and uh, uh, pigs things like that as well and uh, maybe we'll have a few horses here for us to kind of ride around the property with but hope you guys enjoyed today's video just kind of showcasing the property i can't wait uh, for the uh, farming series to get going here now a few people uh, did plant on a few of our fields so maybe we'll help them out and harvest those uh, what uh, is planned here will be pretty cool hope you guys enjoyed today's video getting the first look video here at the new farming series Thanks for watching, stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.